All right, today we're going to be talking about creating your offer, the create part of the core four. And I just want to share, I'm really excited to be filming from this location. It's actually my grade five elementary school, which is now a dance studio. And I am just taking a minute to record part of this course content for you as one of my offers to lead by example in demonstrating how easy it is to kiss our business and keep things ever so simple. Plus, like what a stunning, stunning venue to record this from. So create, 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 create. Oh, I love this topic. What are you selling? How are you going to make your mark in the marketplace with your entire portfolio of what it is that you have to offer? And you need to start with something. And uh, you can create a ladder, like a, a progressional growth of cost for offer as you go. And getting some clarity on this at the beginning will really help you gain confidence and practice your craft. As your business grows, you can add more and more things, but at, at this initial stage, you wanna be like McDonald's. You wanna be burger and fries, burger and fries, burger and fries. So what is your burger and fries? <clears throat> and then you have to give it some time to gain some momentum and traction and you know see what the response is before making any <clears throat> modifications so again the burger and fries example maybe there's a lot of vegetarians out there or vegans or other dietary needs you may want to adjust slightly or provide a slightly different option for but the core is always the burger and fries so this is your mission in this module of the kiss method is going to be to really get clear and you have to send it to me. <laughs> it's so great, it's so interactive. <clears throat> so we have this template um, available that I've created for you that's going to walk you through your product description and your pricing. You're gonna <clears throat> have your elevator pitch on it. You're gonna have the sales page copy for it. Like, you know, what's your call to action in there? What are you telling people? What are the results? All of the ingredients that are going to comprise this core offer and I suggest that you do three that you do like a low end under a hundred a middle a hundred to a thousand and then something above a thousand and they should synchronize with each other like McDonald's burger and fries super size add-ons sort of thing okay so you think about it that way so then people can come in and get to know you and try something at a low expense but you still get paid then they can choose to upgrade and do more with you because they absolutely love what you had and then they can go into an even bigger commitment with you where you're serving them over a longer time period and developing a greater relationship with them and coaching them like you know, really, really combining yourselves over a longer term. And so how do we do that? This is, you know, the practice of feeling safe with what your mission has come out um, to be, like what the calling on your heart is. <clears throat> Experimenting a little bit, maybe until that clarity comes. I know certainly for me, it took a little while before I got really clear and I kind of kept evolving things, but it's always been, business systems and, and like clarity on how to run a business that doesn't run you. It's always been around this chaos control and reducing the overwhelm. And once you have a, a clear picture of what you're really trying to sell, then you're going to, um, you know, broaden that description and really offer these three tiers of products um, for your audience. And so your first one should be something that doesn't require you to uh, show up to sell it, right? So we may know that as an evergreen product, um, but it should be something that somebody can just buy and get to know you with without necessarily meeting you in person, but you can leave that door open if you like. Um, because a lot of the services that we do are, are us delivering it, there is a nice element of getting to know the person uh, throughout the journey and having that accessibility. And so whatever that's going to look like for you. Um, and 
um, you know, having a community they can join or some other call to action that they can follow up on once they purchased from you. So it's not just like you've taken their money and off they go back out into the world. This is the first date. And so you want to continue to nurture a relationship with them and, and encourage them to get to know you and for you to get to know them. Because when somebody buys from you, like this is great, it's exciting. And it means that you've connected with them somehow. So you want to know that relationship a little bit more again, especially at the beginning, because it's going to give you feedback on where you're at, how you're positioning and how you're doing, right? Otherwise, we're just kind of throwing stuff out into the wind and we don't know where it lands or what happens to it. So um, it's a good opportunity again to, you know, really get more clear on what it is that you want to be doing and what people are, are how people are responding to you. And so in the template, in your homework, you're going to write up this low end offer, right? That's the, the industry language, but this easy sellable offer, preferably something a little bit interactive. Um, it could have some emails that follow up to it and there's ways to set that up um, where you don't have to be doing it yourself. Um, and you can DM me about that and I cover it in other parts of this uh, course. Um, you know something that feels good and so for me it was an intro to the kiss method and it was like a 20 minute video where I talked about the core four and then I just put it out there through a landing page self-serve follow-up emails boom great and then you know listen to the podcast join the community message me basically like that's what I'm all about is just come to me just come to me I'm here I'm receiving I want to know you I want to talk to you so you got to think about what that's going to look like for you and you got to think about how this offer is going to live where it doesn't take over your life like I mentioned earlier you want it to give you some spaciousness so that um, you, your business doors can always be open 24 7 365 without you having to be behind them okay and then the next offer kind of offer two is the bigger one is so I loved what you did in your first offer now I want to go more with you what's next right and so this one could be um, like have a few different combinations of your entire passion you could um, create like a little mini series of something or you know what 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 would you like to see this first date go to next and then you design around that and bring that to the person and I'm really uh, you'll hear me over and over about using Google Docs to track this stuff because in there it's like for me it's such a clean slate it's so spacious and you don't have any distractions or clunkiness of a website or a landing page you can just really write from within and get really clear with yourself on what you want to impart and what the wording is going to be and fine tune it and stretch it and explore it in a very easy editing capacity and and it's readily available wherever you are right you just log in off your phone or a computer or anything and you can start hammering away at that so as you're developing it it's very nice to um, have that portability which you know I'm really big on that portability in your business so that um, it's not like writer's block where you sit down at the computer after the kids are in bed or you're on a coffee break from work and you're like okay now I don't know what to write <laughs> and just get in there when when you feel moved to do so and in this one you're gonna you're gonna level up right so play play in the energy of your business and talk to the person that you're serving really like close your eyes okay dear future client I'm talking to you right now here's what I want you to do next here's what I'm offering as available to you to do next so that you can further your journey in my industry right whatever whatever product service based industry that you're in and have some fun with it and practice with it and you know do some recordings and don't be too attached to uh, the outcomes just practice and and get familiar so that it becomes habitual and builds your confidence around it and the the underlying thing the in between the lines of what I'm talking about here too is the more familiar we are with our products the more confident we are around talking about them the easier we know what to say and post on social media like this is the 
the beginning of everything else in the business. So I'll use the parallel of having a child. So is it hard to talk about your child? No, not usually. Like your child is the greatest thing ever in the world and you know them intimately. So if somebody asks you about them, it's very easy to just go on for days about all the wonderful things that they are. And this is what we want to create with our offers, which is why we spend time in this create mode as the number one driving factor for the business. Who are you? What are you selling? Why does it matter? How are you so expertly mastered in this particular um, service to be the one for somebody to buy from? And keep in mind that you're, you're not trying to get everybody, right? You're trying to get the people that you're going to have that chemistry with. There's enough for everybody out there, that old fish in the sea um, analogy. So Feel safe to know that you're only talking to the ones who are really going to respond to you and don't worry about the rest. And, and they will come to you and that allows you to turn off some additional noise that's out there and you know stay clear because you don't have to please everybody otherwise you get lost in trying to add too much to what's really there for you and then it gets all foggy and weird. So in offer one, plain and simple. Offer two, we expand, we offer a little bit more. What do they do after they buy this, you know, lower end product and after the first date, then date them for a while, give them more, serve, really serve, like pour your heart into this. Let yourself be fully expressed doing what it is that you want to do and then give them even more after that. And the even more after that may even come clear after one and two or fairly solidified and you start to see how much more is available or maybe you start there with the biggest picture possible of what you want to um, share from your heart to your client and then bring it down into smaller pieces like that's another way of doing it right so if it's a coaching program you write out the whole thing and make it as big and robust as possible three months six months 12 months whatever it is and then you can extrapolate smaller pieces from that and use them for these other offers it can go either way and it's going to depend on on the way that you feel ready or familiar and you know this is what this whole exercise is and why i've created the template on um the elevator pitch and you know the the product description and the pricing um and the and even the name and then like you're locked in and you're solid and it's not that you can't ever change anything i mean i've changed lots of things in my business but it's easier to just run with what you've got and get really clear on it and then bridge out so you know context is mcdonald's has burger and fries and then every once in a while they have a feature menu um, item that that comes and goes but you always know that you can buy burger fries and a milkshake from mcdonald's right so we want to keep that in mind and it again easier for you to then show up and share what you have to share if you have a social media post that you want to do or you're guesting on a, a podcast or in a facebook group or something like that you know you're really um, really comfortable, really well versed, really have strong fitness in your product offers. And then it's like easy to go and promote them. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, and run launches and things like that instead of having too many to pick from and maybe they're conflicting or they're, you know, not as clear or uh, too far outside of what you're doing. So um, this is why I just love, love, love for you to spend time here and setting up house, really setting up house, really setting up your business for yourself and then for that clarity to your clients. So your homework is going to be to fill out uh, three sheets of the offer template for a low end, a mid range and a high. And there's no limits and, and it's not like a test or anything where you're going to get something good or or bad just get in there and start to you know pin down the foundations of what your offers are going to be and then send it to me i want to see it and i want to give you feedback and i just want to interact with you on what you're putting out there um, so that you're not you know, having to figure it out all alone and I'll be able to see things. I'll be able to see some of what you're saying and, and, you know, go back and forth with you to really 
make it pop and give it that impact that you're looking for. Um, and it's just going to be fun too. It's going to be fun too. So uh, the the templates are as uh, Google Doc here uh, along with this video. And you know, I mean, a week is good. Then you have some accountability and a deadline to send them back. Um, and we're gonna play and we're gonna just have fun with it. And even if you feel so called, I encourage you to do a video or you know, multiple videos and send them in and just get into it, get into it. Like anytime I did kickboxing at the early stages and just as an exercise, it felt really weird to like punch and kick because those movements were so unfamiliar. But then after you do it time and time and time and time again, it's like, oh yeah, easy, no problem. Like and off you go. And this is what we want to create here is that muscle memory, that fitness, that increasing confidence and capacity to deliver it super naturally, right? So it's just a part of who you are. And the only way to do that is to go through it and is to be touching it and is to be playing in it and is to be writing it and creating it and, and doing it. And that's where the exchange between us helps give it even more um, materialization into the real world through yourself and out into the world okay so we're practicing we're writing we're having fun this isn't brain surgery it's not rocket science we're not trying to prevent the apocalypse here we're just trying to really get familiar and fit in our core offers all right makes sense you know where to reach me please do you have questions comments feedbacks I am here all the way and I can't wait. I can't wait. You have no idea. It's like waiting for seeds to sprout in the garden. I can't wait to see what you sent to me. Okay. You are amazing. I love you so much. We're having the best time ever. We're going to kiss your biz into the highest revenues possible, baby. Mwah. Have a great day.